I know I'm not alone when I say how much I love Princess Catherine's style. You guys love her elegant looks and immaculate dress sense as much as me. On her recent tour to Boston, she wore some fabulous outfits and we can learn some really simple style tricks from the outfits that she wore. When the Prince and Princess arrived in Boston, the first outfit that we saw her in was a trouser suit by Alexander McQueen. Needless to say, she looked fabulous. This was a perfect example of tonal dressing. Each element of the outfit was in the same colour in slightly different shades. And this is something she does quite a lot. Just recently, she wore a camel coat and paired it with a light brown roll neck and matching skirt and added some brown boots. And she also did a similar look with heels and a camel coat prior to that. Tonal dressing is a very elegant way to put together an outfit and it's something that we can all do quite easily and it doesn't have to cost a fortune. I put this together with what I have already, a navy sweater and blazer, navy trousers, which are separates and not part of the blazer, and a navy bag. Now sadly I don't have any navy shoes, but that's the great thing about tonal dressing. You can put together an outfit with pieces that you may already have, but if you're missing one or two pieces, then you can buy them quite easily and then rewear them time and again. Now keeping with the subject of rewearing clothes, we see the Princess of Wales rewear her outfits all the time, and of course that's how it should be. The navy suede heels she wore with the navy suit she's worn many times before. We all need to be more environmentally friendly when it comes to our clothing and the best way to do that is to invest in good quality timeless classics. When you've built up a collection of classic pieces use Pinterest and create boards for more ways to wear each piece. It's such a fantastic resource to help you find new ways or ways that you may have forgotten to wear things. In Boston, Princess Catherine colour paired her outfits a couple of times. Firstly, we saw her in a burgundy suit with a pink pussy bow blouse, and then we saw her in orange separates, a skirt and a top with a brown coat. Knowing which colours work together is the best way to maximise your wardrobe to the fullest. You're bound to have something in your wardrobe that you've bought that you love but you never wear because you don't know what to wear with it. I've got a lilac shirt. I've had it for around about five years. I used to wear it in the summer with white, but other than that, I never knew what to put it with. Then when I started to understand colour pairings, all of a sudden I found other things I could wear it with and the shirt was wearable again. Something we can learn from Princess Catherine's tour of Boston was not to be afraid of colour. On her final day, she wore an electric green dress, which is not something we usually see her wearing. The neutral colour palette looks great and it's very fashionable, but it can become a little samey and a bit boring. Sometimes it's good to experiment with colour and stand out from the crowd. Without doubt, Princess Catherine has an impressive coat collection. Over the years, we've seen her wear some beautiful coats. It would be very hard to pick a favourite. Now, a simple style trick that she uses to make her outfits look more polished and coordinated is she matches her bag to a coat. She did just that on her tour to Boston when she wore a green coat. She added a green bag to the outfit. Now, underneath the coat, she's wearing a printed dress. So to keep the outfit understated, she's added a bag in the same colour as her coat. A bag in a different colour would have made the outfit just too fussy and just a little bit disjointed. This is a really simple style trick that we can all do. It especially looks great if you wear a print underneath. Over the top of that, try wearing a coat in a complementary colour with a bag in the same colour as the coat. It looks lovely together. Try not to be afraid of prints. This is a lovely example of how good a print can look under a solid colour coat. And she wore this just recently in Boston. But we see her wearing prints quite often, quite often a printed coat, sometimes a printed blazer, or sometimes she just adds a printed scarf to her outfit just to liven it up. Printed scarves can be bought very cheaply and they're a quick, easy way to brighten up a winter outfit. This red and black outfit looks great just as it is, but adding a printed scarf really elevates it. So don't be frightened of prints. If they do frighten you, then start very slowly just by adding your scarf and progress from there. Something the Princess of Wales does to elevate her style is to mix high end with high street. She's been spotting pieces from Zara, Reese, Marks and Spencers and other stories and mix those with their favourite design brands like Alexander McQueen, Erdem and Amelia Wickstead. The trick to mixing high end with high street is to find a few key designer pieces, something timeless that will outlive all the trends. Something like a classic blazer or a double breasted coat and then use that to build your outfit on. Just one designer piece will give the illusion of a high end wardrobe. 
Twice on a tour to Boston, we saw the Princess of Wales wear a classic two-piece tailored trouser suit. First in the Alexander McQueen suit, and then we saw her in a Roland Murray suit. Now, this is not a new look for her. We've seen her wear the trouser suit many times before. If you look back at the suiting she's worn, she does wear double-breasted blazers, but more often than not, it's single-breasted with a single button. The blazer can be a versatile closet staple, but they do need to fit well. A classic blazer should be fitted across the shoulders, but not tight. The seams of the shoulder should end at your natural shoulder. The hem should just skim your hip bone and the sleeves shouldn't be below your wrist. For this tour, Princess Catherine wore the blazers very simply with a turtleneck and with a blouse, both beautiful, elegant looks. But if you're looking for more ways to style the blazer, then watch this video here.